And lymphedema is a, a, a tremendously debilitating problem. In our country, it's most common after surgery. In the rest of the world, it's you know from elephantiasis and infection. Uh, more, uh, more commonly in our country, it's happened uh, basically after surgery for some form of cancer. And most commonly in my patients, it's a, it's a patient who's had breast cancer and they retreated sometime in the 90s, early 2000s with a method where the entire axilla had the lymph nodes removed. It's the actual lymphatic fluid causes lipe edema. So the fat builds up and the fluid builds up and the extremity can weigh more, five pounds more, 10 pounds more, making it a huge burden for the patient. So there's newer products called FlexiTouch that actually uh, mechanically massage the arm and, and move the lymph fluid out. We now are at a point with technology that we have microscopes that can zoom in to a half a millimeter so we can actually connect lymphatic vessels. The second step or, or transferring lymph nodes if needed is you take lymph nodes after you map them in a certain area uh, in the groin and then hook those up independently in the armpit. And then finally, if the patient hasn't had a total brush reconstruction, we try to go ahead and release all the scar and then reconstruct the entire area using what our, our favorite method would be the, the deep flap. We'll evaluate you for your candidacy for surgery and that means is your arm soft? Are you compliant with therapy? Because even though I can technically um, bypass an obstructed lymphatic channel or I can transfer lymph nodes or I can perform a microvascular brush reconstruction, it's the compliance after that surgery is done that's going to make the difference long term for you.